<laughs> 15 points right there. <laughs> Complete this lyric. I see you standing on the corner with your dress so high. With your dress so high. Good. What's the next bit? I don't know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, goes over there. Oh. I know the next bit. It's, I know the song and the artist. But... That's good. But do you know any more of the song, oh, Graham? Um, Come on, mate. Driving by. Don't fuck. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing. Nothing? Get Michael's got chorus. nothing. Get me to the chorus. Yep, to the chorus. Darling, it hurts to see you down, darling, hurts tonight. Well done, you. And who sang it? Paul Kelly. 15 points right there. Brian and Dougal, time to put some scores on the floor. Boys and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll, boys. A riff away. Very good, Dave. There was a punctuality that excited me in your buzzing. What would you like to say it is? Um, rock the Casbah by The Clash. Absolutely. <laughs> what about this? in with an alacrity that I find absolutely charming. Adelita, what would you like to say? Supernova, Liz Fair. One million points <laughs> for Adelita. <laughs> and this riff. <laughs> there was a pause. There was a slight panic as I thought no one's going to buzz in. And then... Like a man looking and searching for water, Dave came out of the desert with a buzz. Uh, jailbreak uh, by Thin Lizzy. If I could give you millions of points, I would, because that's absolutely correct. <laughs> Brian and Dougal, quick, the cops are coming. Would Stevie Wonder's Master Blaster fit perfectly as the new theme for the SBS World News? Hmm. I might have to have a word with Anton Enos about that one, but I digress. Master Blaster, where we aim questions squarely at our maestros in the middle chairs, starting with you, the lovely Adelita. Of course, with the band that posed the aged old question, can your pussy do the dog? Original rockabilly punks, the cramps, Miss Adelita. Yes. Obviously a fan. Big fan. Big Huge fan. Huge fan. Huge fan. Yes. Right, well, the, I should be fine. <laughs> Here we go. Who is Lux Interior? What's his real name and where did he get it from? Lux Interior is the lead singer of The Cramps. His real name is actually Eric Perkheiser. I hope I've said that right. I think you have, because I can't <laughs> say it. <laughs> and he got his name from a car advertisement. Lux Interior. Mm. Of course. Superb. Thank you. Absolutely correct. Four points. <laughs> they need them. Who produced the first two Cramps singles and why should we care about him? Uh, Alex Chilton. <clears throat> and he's from Big Star. Yes. He's quite famous. He's quite famous. <laughs> yes, I will give you that. He's quite famous. That'll Can we do. accept that? Yes, very good. <laughs> Four points, good girl. Now, as a husband and wife team, uh, the lead singer of the Cramps, Lux Interior, and lead guitarist Poison Ivy, 32 years they've been there. That's pretty good. It's awesome. It's admirable. Yeah. Do you ever see yourself being with a partner for 32 years in a band? Well, I, my partner is in Get out. Magic Dirt. Wow. Yeah. How long has it been now? About 10 years. Oh, 22 to go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, it's going all right. Good. Hey, that's nice. I didn't know that. We've all learned something. There that's you go. Good. Who was their first permanent bass player, making her recording debut on the 1987 live album Rockin' and Reelin' in Auckland, New Zealand? That would be Candy Del Mar. You are absolutely yeah. correct. Four points <laughs> to our leader. 
But now, we turn our attention to Gareth. It's your turn. And your topic, the 1977 debut album for American synth pop no-wave cult band, Suicide. Happy times. <laughs> Led by Alan Vega, who croons like an evil Elvis, bred on garage rock and performance art. Now, Gareth, what's your favourite kind of performance art? Um, I, 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 I was at, I used to work, I was a roadie and I did a, uh, I was at a place where they were doing lots of performance art and this chick, little cute kind of feral chick, in a room, about 50 people in a room said, uh, I was just having a smoke, a bit of time off, and she said, can you film me doing this? I said, yeah, give me your camera. And then uh, everyone was sitting down, I was, and she took all her clothes off and started screaming and everyone was looking at me with this handy cam filming. <laughs> That's my favourite kind of performance art. That is my favourite! kind of performance artist as well. I love it. <laughs> you know what? She probably got a grant to do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, Suicide, the band. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Great. How long did it take to record the LP, Suicide? Um, apparently four hours, but that's bullshit. Not possible? You don't think? We well, have to set up, don't you? You have to set up. <laughs> yeah. You do, but it does say one day, so I think four hours is about right. About right. We'll give that, absolutely. What instruments does Martin Rev play on the record? Uh, just keyboard and a drum machine and analog delay, but it's called the instrument. He doesn't the know. instrument. Yeah. It's a bit like performance art, isn't it? It's we are our own instrument. Our body is our instrument. Darling. Oh, Gareth Liddy, call me darling. I think he meant it. <laughs> 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 and finally, the album was re-released in 2000 with bonus tracks including 23 Minutes Over Brussels. What is the background to this track? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gig. It was, was Elvis Costello support they did in Brussels and it just turned into a riot. It's really good. It's, yeah, it's quite funny. <laughs> You're correct. Four points to you, Gareth Lydian. <laughs> Nary a gap to be found anywhere in these people's knowledge. Such excellent calls for an immediate score check. Brian Dugald. into the home straight and the judges await us at the finishing line. Orchestra, a quickie please. <laughs> Woo, that was almost too quick. The best of luck teams, your time begins. Now. Complete the band names. Pussy. Yes. Galore. Correct. The gun club. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Club. Correct. <laughs> and I think I love you. Thank you, Graham. You got me out of that embarrassing gaff. Ditto. Ditto. Oh, That's he loves Patrick me. Patrick Swayze would say. Oh, I love you. Oh, he does. <laughs> All right, here we go. The North Mississippi. Yes. All stars. Correct, Michael. Oh, well done, yeah. you. The drive-by. Truckers. Truckers is correct. The fabulous. I was going to say Baker Boys, but that's a movie. That's it is. stupid. <laughs> yes, it, this isn't 